Good morning, guys. Happy Saturday. Welcome to my home. That is the lovely sound of carpet cleaners in the morning at like 9, 10 a.m. I thought I'd vlog today. I hopefully have a lot going on. I have a lot of stuff that I need to get done. So I wanted to vlog today, starting with carpet cleaners. I feel like my whole life recently has been like a series of carpet cleaners, maintenance, cleaners, people in and out, inspections. We've been doing so much. So much has been happening in order for me to move upstairs. This is basically the last step, which is very exciting. So even though it's kind of noisy, I'm very excited. This is some of the last vlog footage you'll see in my room as it is right now. Ah! I'm gonna have windows that are above ground. I'm gonna be, have a little bit more sunlight. I'm excited, okay. I'm gonna stop um, making myself dizzy because um, I'm a little hungover. Not a lot, just a little. <laughs> Eventually. What? A minute into the vlog and editing Lauren already has to come in and explain something? Go figure. Well, right now I'm on the bike editing this vlog and realized that I didn't quite explain this next clip. So if you guys, you guys obviously know that I have a Patreon. I talk about it all the time. I love these humans that exist there. And in the last month I launched new tiers, new rewards. And so the clip that you're about to see is the very first exclusive monthly <clears throat> my voice cracked. Monthly Zoom call that I do with everybody in the $40 and up tier. So that is what I am preparing for in this clip. Enjoy. Put on clothes, put on a smidge of makeup, a little bit of earrings. Just started the Zoom meeting, waiting for people to join. I'm so excited. So very excited. This really is like the last live stream Zoom call, like one of the very last before I move rooms. This is like very, very exciting. We've got some people in the waiting room. Who do we got? We got Jessica Ortega. We've got Bonnie Dye. This is gonna be great. I'm so very, very excited. Yay. I don't know why I was so nervous. We out here, say hi guys. Yay. Hey. Get you in there. Doing our Zoom call, the very first one. The very Yay. first Zoom call. This is so exciting. We've been chatting for like an hour and a half. They're giving me business advice. I showed them a sneak peek <laughs> of the website. They're giving me website advice. This is great. This is awesome. You should join our community. They're amazing. You'll meet them. You'll love them. <laughs> and it's the next day because yesterday didn't happen at all. <laughs> Hello, good morning, guys. Um, I know you just saw a clip of me doing my little Patreon Zoom call and I think it even might have said something of like, what a busy day I have ahead of me. I sat on the couch and painted. Actually, I did a lot of like room cleaning that you will not be able to tell now. It does not look very clean. After the carpet cleaners came, in my head I was like, oh, it's gonna take like two hours to dry and then I can go up there and measure. Nope, carpet cleaning takes so much longer. Well, the actual carpet cleaning process didn't take that long, but the carpets were wet for like seven full hours. I actually haven't even checked them out today. So everything got pushed back to today. It is, I, th I hope like 9.30 right now. I had a very, very relaxing evening. I love like really, really chill Saturday nights and like I wake up the next day and I feel great. I'm not hungover. It's nice. I'm ready and prepared for like a full day of stuff going on. And because I didn't work out yesterday and I totally, totally had pasta for dinner, here's how I'm going to start my day off today. Um, I don't know if I've like told you guys this, but I am gonna be doing like full on vlogs and like situations about it. But we've decided to turn our garage into a gym. We're close. We're very close, things are happening. It's still a little bit messy, but here's my situation today. You walk in, you walk in, and ooh, it's a bike desk on wheels. I can push it, but I don't want to because it's very expensive. And this is going to be my little work situation today. I'm gonna get some editing done. It's the beginning of our gym, it's happening. I have a vlog to edit. I'm gonna do that while I burn some calories. Yeah. And I got distracted because the second that I opened my garage, saw that I had Amazon packages waiting for me, grabbed them, and realized I have some leggings that I am very excited about. I hope that they live up to it. I'm really needing some new leggings. I'm needing some new clothes. I honestly feel like I haven't gone shopping since March? February? I don't even know. Um, so before I work out, because I don't want to be all sweaty and disgusting, and I'm, I'm going to do a quick little try-on haul of these three things. Let's do it. Another quick update on my paint by numbers that I worked on last night. Look at how cool it's turning out, you guys. I'm so excited. I've been enjoying it so very much. How sick does that look? Oh my God, I can't believe I painted. I mean, I didn't like paint it myself, but like I did. 
I did. Oh my god, so cool. Okay, so I thought all three of them were leggings, but this one's actually a like tank top bodysuit that I'm very excited about. It's really soft. But these are like little shorty leggings. I'm very excited. I hope that they are as good as all the reviews on Amazon say. I've honestly never bought leggings from Amazon. This is the first time, guys. They're, I just don't own any of these. Like, is the style called like biker shorts? I don't know. Let's put them on. All right, to be honest, these are pretty soft. Like, I'm pretty shook. They were like advertised as the like buttery soft something. I don't even know if this lighting, if you can even like see. Yeah, I'm kind of stoked about these. They even have pockets. I like that it like, it's high waisted and it kind of sucks you in a little bit. I feel like I'm like a, like a runner or like a biker. Ooh, maybe I'll wear these right now for my biking thing. First impressions are good. We'll see how they hold up. I kind of feel like I'm like a, yeah, I look like a biker or like a marathon person. But these also just seem like comfy things that I want to just lay around the house in with like a big shirt. I don't know. <laughs> okay, and now here's the purple one. Um, I'm a big fan of these purple ones. I don't know if the lighting in my room right now is good, but it's really cute. There's like still a tag kind of there. Big fan. These are great. It's like, um, what would we call this? Like a lavender almost? Dark purple? I don't know, but they're really soft. These are the ones advertised. I'll link them down below. I'm gonna go try them out. <laughs> And then real quick, I tried on the um, black bodysuit that I got from Amazon. I'm obsessed. Holy crap, I've never seen something this smooth. And okay, I really love the, um, the racer back style of it. Ladies with big boobs, you might feel me. This cut, this is a cut that I can normally never wear. There's always this like weird gaping hole or it's, it's either weird gaping hole or a ton of side boob, which is just not the vibe I wanna put out some days, most days, I think. Um, but I really love the cut of this. Everyone told me to size up one, so this is a size large. But um, it was like $14, and this is literally the softest thing I've ever put on my body. I might go back and get it in different colors, because they have it in like bright colors, but I think it's really cute. Yay, Amazon! Why have I been sleeping on purchasing clothes from there? I don't know, but I'm a fan. Okay, now to actually work out. <laughs> Let's do this. Oh wow, okay, an hour has gone by. I'm exporting my vlog. I did 364 calories, which, you know, we don't know how accurate that actually is because I didn't have my heart rate monitor hooked up, but I'm feeling good. I need to do this more. Now that like, it's easily accessible, this will be here. New roommates bringing a Peloton. We're gonna have some, oh my God, I'm just, I'm not even gonna tell you all the stuff that's gonna be happening in this gym situation yet because I want to make some full videos on it, but that was really fun. All right, I'm gonna go make a smoothie and upload this vlog, yay. Oh, also, these are awesome. I am such a big fan. So soft, so soft, dirty mirror. <laughs> We're in the car, I made it. Right now I'm driving downtown to do two things. I So a few weeks ago when I was in Denver, I was running with my Apple Watch and I was like, something felt weird on it. I adjusted the band, the band fell off and then the entire watch fell to the ground and the screen cracked. Not only the screen cracked, but it made the entire touch screen unusable. Like one little teeny tiny scratch. Did, are there any like Apple Watch owners out there? Is this a thing that happens? Because I was so mad. All I really like my Apple Watch for is like working out, knowing how many calories, knowing the distance. I've had a Fitbit but the Apple Watch is just, it's so much better. It's so much better. My gym also has an app that goes along with it. Anyway, so I was looking at all of these things. I was looking at like you break, I fix. And it was like 150 to like $200 to replace the screen, which is, and in my mind, I'm like, I might as well just buy a new Apple Watch, but like I didn't want to do it at the time. And so now, the time is now, people. Um, I've been looking online at like the kind that I want. I don't want the brand new one. I don't like really use my Apple Watch that much when I'm home. This is a little crooked. It's more when I'm out. So I don't really need all these brand new features or whatever. I just like to have it on me when I'm out, running errands, traveling, whatever. So I went to Facebook Marketplace and I found someone, this girl selling it downtown. She said she's only had it for about like a year and it is the Rose Gold and it's series four which is the kind that I want. Everyone loved the Series 4 when it first came out. And what's weird is Apple stopped selling it, like on the official Apple website. I think it's because they have all these new Apple Watch Nike and Hermes. I don't, 
I don't really care about any of that stuff. I just want a good Apple Watch. So right now I'm on the way to go do that and it actually worked out perfectly because I'm also meeting my friend Heather who lives downtown. I'm so excited to see her. We're gonna grab lunch. And yeah, and oh, I decided to wear the new Amazon um, bodysuit shirt today. We're gonna give it a test run, see how it goes, but huh, it's good. It's, I mean, it's two o'clock and I feel like I've had such a productive Sunday so far. Not just like sitting on the couch like my normal Sundays go, but you know what? Sometimes we all need those kind of days, I think. <laughs> Later. Yay, I got it. I got the Apple Watch. It's so pretty. It's so, so pretty. It looks like it's in really, really good condition. Like I would say brand new condition, honestly. Yes. Yes, back in business. So I made it downtown. I do, I will say, I do love being downtown. I love it, it's exciting, the tall buildings, all the people. I just don't think I could live here. Just now a biker like came up and then a person was walking and then he decided he wasn't gonna walk. And so then me and this other car behind me are like, okay, we don't know what to do here. We're at the mercy of you, dear pedestrian. So as much as I love like visiting, I don't think I could actually live here. It's cool though, look at this view. Reason number five million why I'm not going to live downtown ever. The guy behind this white car just took my freaking parking spot. Parking sucks downtown. Ugh. Come on, I'm hungry. <laughs> All right, I have finished lunch. I am with my friend Heather. Hey girl! I'm in her gorgeous apartment. I just, oh my God, I'm obsessed with like all the plants and decor that she has. So she's gonna come over to my house my new bedroom, she's gonna help me reorganize. It's gonna be amazing. <laughs> and so what are we building right now, Heather? We're building a mm -hmm. coffee table. And who's this? This is me, Lila. This is Lila. Hey. <laughs> so we just had lunch, and now we're going to build some Ikea furniture. Honestly, a perfect day. I love building um, Ikea furniture. <laughs> we built the table. We did it, we did it. And now Heather's gonna peel Heal the blue thing. You ready? Ready. Ready? Ready? <laughs> oh! oh <laughs> I wanted to be so dramatic. It still can be. We can come back from it. Oh, oh yes. This is not as dramatic as this I thought it This is actually quite satisfying. Yes! Yes! Yeah. Mm. This looks nice. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> in here like I this. love it look at that that's like a magazine and she like brought out these like candlesticks and then she has logs where do you get logs like this <laughs> like this is a vibe one <laughs> look at you in your apartment though like what a vibe you are thank you it's gorgeous here she's going to help me decorate mine <laughs> all right just got back into my car Heather is like one of the best humans I've met out here in LA, truly. We met at an influencer event and you like meet people at influencer events and it's always so superficial and so fake and just like, oh, we good, we good, we good. Still in the parking lot, we good. So we met at an influencer event. She was so nice and friendly and I was like, oh my God, this girl, like you can meet nice people at these events. It's not just rude vloggers sizing you up. Um, and then we ended up running into each other at another event after that, like a few weeks later, and we were like, hey girl. And so we got each other's numbers and then we started, I took the wrong turn. <sighs> Reason number 400 million nine, milli, milli nine, why I don't think I could handle living downtown. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh, there's like a fight happening right next to me. This is the third fight that we've that I've seen today downtown. I think it just things have gotten really bad ever since COVID happened. Like the homeless problem, like crime, it makes me really sad. Ha, huh, red light. Okay, so what I was saying was that I was so happy we got to hang out a little bit longer just because we haven't seen each other and like hung out one-on-one -on -one in before February. God, February. Now it's October. 
I don't even know how that happens. So right now I am going to go to Best Buy. They close in 40 minutes. I am 18 minutes away. I need a printer really, really badly. I have needed to print things for so long and for a while, for so long I was just using Shelby's printer. I would just pitch in on ink and paper. Shelby's gone now and now it's such a hassle to go and print one little thing. So I'm like, at this point, I need to just go buy a printer. I've been looking at all these ones that are just like not as bulky and can fit somewhere because I'm downgrading in space. So I'm not trying to make it harder to maneuver and organize my new office situation. So can I make it there and find a good printer in the next 40 minutes? Time will tell, let's find out. <laughs> all right, I got here with 10 minutes to spare. Can I buy a printer in 10 minutes with ink and paper? Do I need toner? Okay, walking faster now, <laughs> wish me luck. Update, I didn't get the printer. They didn't close within eight, 10 minutes or whatever the F I said, um, that was just Google being wrong. But I ended up going there, they didn't really have like a good selection of stuff. Oh, that's cool. Right now, I need to go order this one. I wanna get this white one that seems like a little bit slimmer because I really just want all my stuff to be white. I wanna either get rid of this shelf or spray paint it white. I want all my stuff to be like white and gold and rose gold, that's the vibe. Yeah, God, I feel like the last vlog clip I did was forever ago. So I went to Best Buy, I didn't get the printer, then I ended up going to Trader Joe's and I spent so much money at Trader Joe's, but now I have food for the next like, <laughs> year it feels like but i'm very excited about it and more of my shorts arrived from amazon let me show you also shout out to tara one of my amazing subscribers and patron who made me this shirt it said swifties the one where we stand with taylor i love it so much thank you so much tara and i have now paired it with these cutie little shorts i think they're so cute they've got pockets this is kind of like just like my my end of night outfit, where's my pocket? I'm just, I like it. I like that they're like a little bit shorter. They're really, really comfortable and I'm stoked on it. I'm gonna wear this with like a sweatshirt or something. I don't know, I just wanna be comfy all the time. Back upstairs, watching humans with Haley. I know I was watching it in Denver with my mom. Cooper is being extra cute. Hi Cooper, how are you? How are you? Are you doing good today, sir? Little baby sir. Oh, he was being really cute earlier today. Yesterday, Shelby FaceTimed with me and Cooper and Haley, and Shelby just got jaw surgery, and she's in like a lot of pain and stuff, and she's just like, can I see Cooper? And I was like, yeah. He always make me feel better when I'm sad too. He's just the best little boy. Thank you, thank you. The vlog channel loves you. Yes, they do. Oh, you're so cute. Ouch, I just hit my head on our camping table. So we're watching humans on the couch. I'm sitting here setting up my new Apple Watch and then I get to a step that says this watch is paired to another user and the activation lock is turned on. I just set $215 on this. I need this to work out. So I messaged the girl like five minutes ago. There's like an Apple support article of like what to do in this situation. Like what I should have done was paired it there in front of her. I don't know, I just got nervous. I don't know if to be doing these situations. She was just like a nice girl, like she's like a student and she brought her friend out and they were just, they were really friendly. I think it's gonna be totally okay because I just sent her like a picture of like, here are the steps you need to do. You gotta like go to iCloud and like unpair it. But like, holy crap, that was dumb of me. I should have like prepared that. I think she'll respond. I think she will. Ah. Uh... Also picked this up from Trader Joe's today. I'm very excited to try it. Dried watermelon. I really like their like mangoes, like the soft and juicy ones and like the freeze dried ones. Have you ever had watermelon jerky? Nope, I have not. Let's try it. Still haven't heard back from the girl with the watch. I'm hoping I will. Update on this. Watermelon jerky from Trader Joe's. Disgusting. I had really high hopes for it. Look at how gross this is. I'm gonna show you. In some pictures, it kind of looks like meat. I don't know. It's just like, ew. Like it's supposed to be like a, you know, soft, juicy mango from Trader Joe's. No, 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 no. This is not it. Ew, ew, ew. I'm just gonna, I could return it. I don't know. Trader Joe's has that like policy like that, but it was like $2.50 or like $3. I'm just gonna throw it away. Not, not about it. Whew. So very tired. I take my makeup off. Still haven't heard back from the girl. Um, I really think that I will. I really think that I will. She seemed really nice when 
Um, I met her in all my chat with her on Facebook. I think it's gonna be okay. Just gotta get ready for <sighs> Monday morning, tomorrow. I'm gonna end the vlog here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave it a like. Make sure you're subscribed to this channel and my main channel. More videos on my main channel coming soon. Some that have to do with this move, some that have to do with some other stuff. I'm very excited about it. Yeah, thanks for hanging out with me today. I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Oh,